I'm showing everybody this black rat snake, and then I'm going to show you the big snake skin in our barn here. Just check this guy out. Oh, look at the nice white underside. Now, this is not a big black rat snake at all. This is, I mean, I want to say a baby, but a couple years old. Um, one of the many snakes we have on our property. Um, we got a garter. I'm showing everybody this black rat snake, and then I'm going to show you the big snake skin in our barn here. Just check this guy out. Oh, look at the nice white underside. Now, this is not a big black rat snake at all. This is, I mean, I want to say a baby. But a couple years old. Um, one of the many snakes we have on our property. Um, we got a garter snake that uh, lives over there that I see a lot. Sometimes I see a garter snake or two in our flower and herb garden here. Um, but we have a lot of snakes around here. There's Moo the cat. Um, we've never seen a copperhead or rattlesnake on the property. Those I would relocate. I wouldn't kill them. I would relocate them, hopefully, um, to like National Forest or someplace like that. Um, this black rat snake, though, has a good purpose because... It helps to keep the mice population down, the vole and mole population um, inside our barn. But there is a really big black rat snake that lives inside our barn here, has lived here for at least six years. We're pretty sure it's the same black rat snake. And she literally is probably the grandma of all these snakes. And uh, our whole barn it's covered with snake skin. So I'm gonna show you the biggest one yet. I know it's gonna be dark in here, but let's head inside. I'll turn on the lights and then we'll bring out this gigantic black rat snake skin. Yep. With that barn light, it's kind of hard to appreciate how big this black rat snake is. Um, we've actually done a video on this snake before. Um, we haven't seen her in a while, but we know she's here because we see these giant sheds. So down here is the tail. Goes all the way up, up into that rafter and back down. And that's actually, this is a full shed, which you can see... Wow, isn't that cool? Um, this is a full shed. We're gonna carefully take this down in a minute after we do some horse feeding and uh, measure it and see how long this black rat snake has gotten. Pretty impressive. I'm gonna say over five feet, but, but you know what? We'll measure it and we'll know for sure in just a second. I think it's been about two years, but I think Big Mama black snake which um, I was doing a video on her shed her shedding her skin that she shedded I think this is big mama black snake that lives in our barn uh, haven't seen her in a while but uh, she's a big mama let's check her out oh yeah that's her all right Wow. That's Big Mama. It's probably six feet long, I bet. Five feet long. I mean, we can only see half of her. I'm gonna see if she comes all the way out. This is awesome. Of course, you got our phantoms right here. Well, they are safe and secure because I don't use chicken wire. Um, they got rat wire or welded wire over this chicken wire. But there's Big Mama. That's her. Oh my God. Pull her out. Honey. 
And as quick as she went it out, she went back in. I was hoping to get more footage of her, but that's where she lives, people. Are you just thinking about eating the chips? Huh? I'm just kidding. Ron says we should eat the snake, but then she was joking. That would be weird. Um, I don't know what snake tastes like. Snake on the um, We did see her for a second, but we are going back in to get her shed, and we're going to pull it down from the rafters and uh, show you how big this snake really is. I don't think she's going to be, so she was in the corner of the barn. She's going to be right there, put your tripod up there, and you can on flash. No, she's on top though, hon. What do you mean? Well, isn't she above the rafters probably? Oh, okay, there's where she went, who knows? Um, but there really are a lot of her sheds everywhere. There's one of them. Broken. You feel me as I take this down? I'm going to take down this shed. So this is the, the big giant shed we're going to take down and measure. Um, I'm just happy mom saw. Oh, wait, hang on. Here's another shed too. There's another shed of the snake. There's another shed, but this one over here is complete. So we're going to pull it down and measure and see how long she is. Hopefully. I need a ladder or something. Oh, I guess I'll... I'm going to try not to ruin it. Get it from the part it's caught at first and then pull it yeah. from there. gigantic oh my gosh she is like how many feet long i mean i'm five seven five eight or something she's probably six feet long already. i can't even fit all of it in the camera all right let's take this outside it's gigantic oh my gosh wow look how big her scales are too she's huge wow all right let's actually measure her okay <laughs> Imagine you're just like peacefully walking on the barn, you get some horse feed, and then this giant snake falls on you. Okay, just hold it. Okay, so you can see her whole shed. Hopefully, Ro, can they see uh, all of it? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm in my pajamas, but whatever. Um, we're going to hold this up and measure her and see how long she is. Rowan, what's your guess? I think she's around seven and a half feet. Seven and a half feet, okay. She's put it down on the ground so they can. Well, no, I, no, I'm gonna bring her over here and then we're going to uh, pull out a tape measure. Okay, so we got our tape measure. We're gonna measure this snake and uh, see what we're working with. Actually, let's do this. We're gonna go check it out. Snake. Well, I started here. Snake. Okay. Wait, I'll kind of hold her. Wait, not stretch her, but like. Yeah, that's good. Well, no, it has to end up here, hun. So that when I start to measure. Okay. Okay, let's measure this snake. 
This is four feet right here. Five feet. Six feet. Six feet, nine inches. I bet if we stretched her out and she was like actually here stretched out, she'd be around yeah. seven feet. Yeah, okay, go ahead and put your finger on the end of the tail and I'll stretch it a little bit. Uh, I mean, that's just another two inches. I mean, she's almost seven feet, um, so that's pretty amazing. And this rat lives in, our, this rat snake, <laughs> Lives yes. in our barn and does a pretty good job of getting mice and rats and other var varmints um, in the spring and summertime. In the wintertime, we do have a mouse problem because she's up in the barn trying to stay warm. I wonder where she stays in the winter. We should give her a dog bed. A dog bed? Uh, it's pretty cool. We actually got to see her for a second. Um, Mom saw her through the window, which is pretty awesome. Um, Pretty cool. Um, just another thing we do on our farm. Uh, we try to live with nature as much as we can. And if you do that, um, the nature does job for you. Come on. <laughs> I'm living with the nature. Okay, stop that, please. It's fun. So our black rat snake um, is about seven feet long, and on our farm, we try to live with nature as much as we can, and if you do, sometimes nature will do a job for you, like take care of mice and rats. We don't have any mice or rat problems in the barn in the spring and summer. Um, in the winter, we do have a mouse problem because she's hibernating. But let's go ahead and take one more look at, at um, at, I guess Big Mama here, Ro. Can you show them the skin at just one more time? Are we sure she's female? No, we're not, I guess. If it's a male snake, it hates me out. The female snake doesn't? No. Are they